Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. Dynamic change in the history of Aternum last night as the Covenant hero worshippers of the Outcast claim control of the eastern restless shore. KOTT News were on the scene and took an official statement from an Outcast representative. John, let me tell you. I walked up the back line with our legendary savior, Panda. And with our powers combined, we carried the other 48 nerds to the point and won this war. No word from the champs after their blowout routing in Everfall last night, but KOTT news crews had the opportunity to participate in an impromptu wedding ceremony with renowned lyricist Lord Bob Ross dropping in after his concert to provide musical interludes for the newlyweds. The post-wedding reception was a night to remember. Turning to our ongoing coverage of the Season 3 Rise of the Angry Earth reward track, and the inclusion of the wildcard slots has made things incredibly simple for getting unique shapes and patterns. With the possible combinations of extra lines you can get, this season's rewards should come pouring in more rapidly than usual. Looking at the weather for today and after last night's piece of cake, the afternoon affair will be filled with daily chores and light questing. But after sundown, things will get a little sketchy as a moderate chance of corruption invasion will rise up across 40% of the island. Two roster submissions for simulated fantasy combat resolution tonight, brought to you by LARPCO. Remember, if it isn't LARPCO, it's cardboard. Up first, the drunken monks of the shot callers attack the marauders of emotional damage for control of the medicinal hot springs of Ebonscale Reach. The shot callers head west and set up their assault camp in the bamboo forest preserves intent on capturing the resort destination and partying throughout the night. But emotional damage like their chances against this island adversary and look forward to the opportunity to practice their pugilism defending their regional holding. Then the covenant hero worshippers of the outcasts assault the marauders of the pharmaceuticals for control of the island's primary oil reserves of Weaver's Fin. The outcasts expanded their empire last night and look to do so again tonight by taking their momentum and turning west into the island for full control of the eastern trade routes. Pharmaceutical forces backed into the proverbial corner in the peat moss bog will have to stand their ground against a strong foe if they wish to maintain their status as a standing great house. Be sure to tune in for complete coverage and reactions from the citizens tonight at 11. Until then, this has been War Correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News.